In this video, I visited Jebudo again. It's the place that I photographed in 2023, when it was all frozen. This time, it was a recce mission, and I chose the wrong day to go. It was rainy, and you know how much I trust Sony's weather sealing. I managed to capture only one shot today. I didn't even focus stack, as it was more of a composition hunt and a recce mission than an actual shooting. However, the composition hunt shot turned out mediocrely great, so I beg you, watch until the end. Thank you and enjoy. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's raining today and we're at Tebudo again. I've got my first composition here. I'm using this big rock as a foreground object and there are two C, uh, three sea stacks as a background interest and I'm currently at ISO 100 F9 uh, 1 4 dip to a second and it's just a dead simple shot when you're shooting seascapes the main thing that you need to be careful with is not to disturb the water so if you disturb the water then in your shot all the ripples will be in there so before you make a shot I have to be absolutely steady for like 30 seconds or to one minute and just make a shot after all the ripples are gone or I can just get my uh, 6 stopper or 10 stopper out and use an ND filter uh, for long exposure but I'm kind of lazy and it's raining so I don't want to get anything out of my bag so there goes my shot now let me show you the back of the screen Okay, so here you can see the screen and this is my foreground object, this big uh, stone or rock. And the three C stacks are here. And there are these two small rocks in between them. And I think I'm gonna Photoshop them out because they're kind of distracting. I was thinking about using a polarizer, but I think I like these, uh, this reflection that these C stacks give. So I think I'm just gonna leave it there. Or maybe I will use, use the polarizer to polarize the, to cut off the glare from the rock. So first, without polarizer, ISO 100, F9, 1 40th of a second, and there goes my shot. And now with the polarizer, so now this is with the polarizer, and as you can see, the glare here is now gone. And the shadow of this rock is a little bit, actually that's the reflection. The reflection is a little bit less visible compared to before. And I'm going to make a shot of this too. So same as before, ISO 100, F9. 140 of a second. Considering everything else, I think you, I think I'll use this uh, polarized image because I don't know. It just looks better in my eyes. Um, it still has that some kind of reflection under the rock, which I really like. But it also shows like what's underneath the water. So I think I'll use this one. And surprisingly, it still kept the uh, the reflection from the sea stacks, which is uh, which is something that I would like to keep. So yeah, I think this is overall. Uh, a mediocre but nice image. As I mentioned earlier, I didn't focus stack the image since it was more of a composition hunt than an actual shooting. I plan to revisit when the weather becomes more suitable. However, when I opened this image in Lightroom, I instantly regretted that I didn't focus stack. The image turned out better than I thought. From the black and white contrast of the rock to the three sea stacks standing tall in the background, the image looked quite impressive. And because I used the polarizer, the sand underneath the water became visible, adding an interesting factor. Well, now I'm definitely going back to shoot this composition again, when the weather becomes more suitable. So it has been warm for like a, like, like a couple of weeks now, and all the snow on this beach that we had before, again, I'll show you again. Here's the video before. Um, but now it's all melted and and, and now this beach is revealed and uh, I just wanted to come here as a recce to see what kind of photos I can make here today but I chose the wrong day because it's raining and uh, 
and the weather forecast told me it's not gonna rain here so great yeah you always you, you gotta you gotta respect those uh, Korean weather forecast guys you gotta respect so um, I think that's it for today I think I'm gonna head home now and drink some warm tea because uh, it's very cold now it's minus four but it's kind of windy and as you can see my hands are all red because of the wind and cold I'm definitely coming in here again and shoot these compositions again when the weather clears up and where it's like beautiful sky with full of clouds and evening light that's what I'm gonna wait for so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe it really helps me a lot so thanks and uh, see you next time yeah